A question from Lottie Squires of Deming, New Mexico. How do you choose which missing children and which fugitives to feature on the Justice Network? Lottie, really good question and a really, really tough job because there are so many crime victims in the United States, so many parents of murdered children. It's, all, it, it's impossible to, to pick the cases, but we do our best. We partner with the U.S. Marshal Service and Crime Stoppers USA. They work with us daily to determine who they feel are the most important fugitives to get off the streets, the most dangerous. When you see a most wanted fugitive in New Mexico, you should know that justice viewers in other markets are seeing bad guys wanted in their communities, so there's a lot going on. The missing children you see each hour are provided to us by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. We use the same system for displaying their faces with hundreds of kids shown each month. And the toughest thing for parents of missing children is the not knowing. So we revisit missing children cases time and time again. I think and believe we are the only uh, entity on television of all the thousands of channels and networks. We're the only one that repeatedly shows pictures of missing children because 80% of missing children are found by pictures. And we do long-term cases because Elizabeth Mart, for example, was found after eight months. So keep a good eye out. You might be able to see a fugitive someday, or who knows, you might spot a missing child somewhere. But we try to give these families of these missing children and the victims of these fugitives hope by showing them on the Justice Network.